I kiss my girl by the factory wall. Burly old town. There's actually a little, little bit here, town. and then generally around this area, what happens is that people take it as permission to uh, get rid of their household rubbish and detritus and stuff next to the litter bin. So you've probably got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bin bags and then assorted kind of um, carrier bags as well. If we look at it, you can see like the actual bin itself is half empty. We've got beer cans, you've got a Love Northampton Market bag <laughs> within there. The thing is, is, as well, is probably if we went through it, which we're obviously not going to do, Probably half of this could be recycled anyway. There's cardboard and paper in there, tins, things like that. What sort of impression does that make on people coming to Northampton for the first time? Obviously, it's just sort of ghastly to look at, but there's, um, for people who live here as well, it's just horrible because some people have lived here all their lives or have come here to go to college and stuff like that, and they, it seems to be a very, very, very slow erosion of um, standards as we can and see and as you're as walking well, down yeah. St Michael's now we can see almost a whole pizza that's been thrown on the Flattened floor on the pavement. there are numerous plastic bottles we're hearing a lot about plastic at the moment of course uh, lots of what look like old coffee cups railway tickets tin lids loads and loads of takeaway containers flattened lager Cans. And then also added to that, I think the first layer is like a sort of strata of rubbish, but I think the first layer is actually leaves and um, sort of compostable debris from trees and leaves. So that doesn't get swept away um, and then it blocks the drains. I um, live in Abington, but I work in Burn Street in the Mounts. And this is typical, especially of the Mounts area. Um, I mean, look at this. You, this is just underneath somebody's between two parked cars. There is already this kind of thick layer of leaves and debris. And then added to that is uh, flattened cans, plastic, ring pulls, cardboard. And we just walked past, uh, someone left a computer out, and now this looks like almost a part of someone's house with a cigarette yeah. packet and a, and a beer can on, on top of it. So, again, then, those, those layers of rubbish. Yeah, and then we've got empty plastic and everything. I mean, the, the, the thing is, is that there's plastic recycling boxes here, and that's a few feet away. And then we've got, um, coming up here, we've got the alley that was on um, Kinky Boots. It's actually regularly used as a sort of place to dump things it's very smelly so here we are now and it yeah uh, a couple more of those love northampton market bags some finger licking chicken boxes coke cans beer cans and then ironically a, a site under surveillance <laughs> poster We've just gone off of uh, grove road uh, and we found another another pile of rubbish here do you want to sort of Describe what you're seeing now. Well, somebody's made an attempt to tidy up because they've put all of their tins, their lager tins, into bags and they knot the bag. But then amongst that we've got chicken bones, um, bag with a nappy in, um, lots of cigarette ends and glass bottles. Some of the food stuff that's here is, is going to ultimately start attracting vermin as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I know that friends of mine have um, been uh, talking to me on Facebook and saying that they, they've been down on a Sunday to Abington Park and there's rats inside the litter bins now. And I've seen huge rats now leaving around litter piles. Shall we take a, a bit more of a walk up, see what else we can find? Oh yeah. It's like a, the worst kind of treasure hunt. Dirty old town